Ah, love. When a young man's eye sphincter dilates his pupils as part of the autonomic nerve response. <sighs> Anthony here for D News, and we've all felt what it's like to have a crush on someone, pulse racing, stomach full of butterflies, not being able to get them out of your thoughts. But what is causing all that? What is going on in our brains when we are falling for someone? A 1991 anthropological survey of 166 societies found romantic love in 147 of them. And in the other 19, they were not looking for it. So we can assume that we are built to love and all those fluttering stomachs and sweaty palms are the result of systems built specifically to do those things. And the sweaty palm thing is just an unfortunate evolutionary choice. So you meet someone special or you see them, that fluttering heart you're feeling is the result of a neurotransmitter that is associated with alertness and influences our reward system. It's important for concentration and decision making. It's also super important in our fight or flight mechanism, that evolutionary holdover from our days in the wild. Your heart beats faster, you get more oxygen in your brain, your body is trying to psych you up to just talk to that person or eat them or run away forever it's your choice any of the three should work the butterflies in your stomach are part of the same instinctive response your body releases a ton of adrenaline and sends it to your lungs and your muscles and you're also directing extra blood flow there as well as your brain which leaves very little blood for your poor stomach which is where all that fluttering comes in dopamine is what's making you feel those fireworks when a new person is around that pleasure high we used to think dopamine was a simple reward neurochemical you do something that feels good and your brain makes some to let you know but now we know it's more about novelty something has to unexpectedly feel good in order for dopamine to be released in a study researchers turned on a light before they gave rats juice. Uh, for the first few days, the rats released crazy amounts of dopamine, but after a while, they knew that the lights meant the juice was coming and their brain released less and less dopamine. When you first meet someone and you are having a great time, your brain is like, whoa, new person, and they like us and they're fun, this is great. Dopamine also heightens your attention, causes sleeplessness, makes you more goal-oriented. That's why you can't think of anything but that person. Well, it's part of it. People in new love also show lower than average average levels of serotonin in an fMRI. Low serotonin is also found in people with obsessive compulsive disorder. What's funny is that a lot of psychologists and relationship experts tell you to try to not end up with someone who gives you too much of these physical reactions because they're similar to a lot of addictive behaviors and chasing those feelings all the time can lead to mismatched unstable relationships. Uh, if you like this stuff and you want to hear more about it, I got a lot of my research from our friend Kristen Conger over at Stuff Mom Never Told You. Go check out her show because she is the jam and subscribe here for more D News.